I, I, trust, I trust they have a new bus. Well, I think it took uh, it took a lot of guys believing it could be done. It was something that, uh, truthfully, I didn't even know if we could do. But I think they believed we could do it if we just played the way that we could. And uh, it got to be kind of a fun thing. It was like they were feeding off of each other. You could you could almost feel the pitchers feeding off the guy that threw the previous game. And, and uh, we had some guys step up and do some things that were extraordinary that they haven't done all year. And that's what it took for us to be able to win that tournament. What was your goal at the beginning? season have you met it or do you still have more to go to get there no I think we have more to go to get there this was one of our major goals I mean certainly we always want to win the conference we were disappointed we came in third in our conference in regular season we want to win the tournament that's the huge thing we were able to do that and then from from the postseason standpoint we want to go somewhere and be able to to make a splash we want to go somewhere and uh, feel like we have an opportunity to win how are you feeling about your, your chances? I like going to battle with these guys. I, I've felt that way ever since before the season started. Uh, I felt like that this was a group of guys that would fight and they would claw. They wouldn't give up. Uh, they have a lot of belief in themselves and in each other. And uh, I, think, I think we'll play well. I really do. So, I, you know, we open with Ole Miss. Georgia Tech and Washington are there. Uh, from our standpoint, we'll have to get a lot of information on two of them. Ole Miss, we have information on them because we've seen them play on TV so many times. The others will have to get some information. But really, Friday night's the big game that we're worried about right now. These, uh, well, I think in baseball, it comes down, it's uh, a lot of funny things can happen in baseball. And I think a lot of it has to do with how you feel about yourself. If you look at yourself as an underdog, that's probably how you feel and it's probably how you play. Uh, but, you know, I feel like from an ability standpoint, we have guys that can do every bit what their, their guys can do. And if we go in and play the way that we can, it'll be a good game. I'm not saying for sure that we would win, but I'd say we'd have a chance to win. Yeah, I think it started uh, long before we got to the tournament. We've kind of had this feel about us, and we talk about it, that even when we fall behind, we've, we've done a real good job of trying to come back. There's been a lot of times we've tried and we've come up short. You know, but but we'll really get back in the game. Uh, when up there, it was like we had this feeling that no matter what happened, we were going to be okay. We give up runs, and that would be it. I mean, we'd just start throwing up zeros. The offense would come back. Uh, there was a couple of games where we got out to a lead. We continued to add to that lead. So even when they scored some runs, it wasn't a, a tremendous amount of pressure. I felt like. From a team standpoint, they really fed off of each other in a way that maybe we hadn't done all year long. It was the best that we had seen all year long. One of the best I've seen ever since I've been coaching, just being honest about it. Talk about well, we've never tried to schedule easy. You know, we, we've always tried to schedule in a way that if we get an opportunity for postseason play, then we're, we feel like we're ready for it. And, and that you can look at our schedule, as you say. You see the three or four teams that we played. I think that. Uh, we were very competitive uh, with those teams. And the reason we play them is so when we get there Friday night, there's a big crowd, everybody's going nuts. We want to feel like we belong in that situation. Uh, you know, I, I haven't stopped smiling yet. Um, it hasn't really sunk in. It kind of has, but it hasn't. Um, and to do what we did, um, it's, it's, it, it's incredible. It's, it's so fun to be a part of. Um, you know, it's something, like Coach K said, uh, we'll always remember it, uh, always draw back from it. And uh, six games in a row, I, I, like I said, I can't stop smiling. It's just, it's one of those, it's incredible. That's all I can say about it. As you um, yeah, we're playing, we're playing really good baseball right now. Um, and our mindset going into this week is, is, is just play baseball. Um, and going to Oxford, it's going to be a fun experience. And uh, we feel like we can compete with anybody in the country. Um, and Coach Case tells us it's, it, it's, just, it's just baseball. We've been playing it since we were five years old. So uh, we're just going in there. And, and, it's, and base, it's baseball. I mean, it's not like football. Like Coach K said, you can, you can go in and you can play with anybody. So that's what we're planning on doing. We're going to go have fun. Hang with anybody. I'll tell you, what, it, it makes it easy when you have an offense that does what they did um, on a consistent basis. Uh, and as a pitching staff, um, to go out there and know that your offense is going to put up runs like that, it, it, it's, it takes a lot off your shoulders. Um, and, and, and our pitching staff, like I said, it's, 
what we did um, was just, it was incredible to be a part of. Um, well, I've been here for four years in Richard Jr. And uh, the year before we got here, then uh, um, obviously Gamecocks got to go to uh, regional at Auburn. Um, and these past four years, that's all we wanted to do is get that chance to go back to one and to actually make history and win, like win it, um, win some games and have fun doing it. So last week we got down Wednesday when we lost that first game. It was kind of tough on us. Um, we all pulled together. And uh, me being with these group of seniors right now, I came in with these guys and I'm not leaving with them. So I don't want to leave yet. And uh, that was really big. We're, we're all uh, a huge, huge little family there. Um, and when these guys came in with me, it's kind of like your brothers and sister going off um, and leaving you. So whenever, whenever they have to leave, it's going to be tough. So we're trying to hang in there as long as possible. Yeah. Um, well, we had a great job all around pitching staff. I think we had right above a two ERA, which is unbelievable um, as, a, as a staff. Um, and what we were able to um, change from Moorhead series, which was the weekend before this past one, um, to this one was worlds, worlds different. Um, we, uh, we were able to cut down the walks, cut down the runs scored, cut down um, everything else. So uh, a lot of strikeouts, a lot of ground balls, pop-ups, and the, our uh, hitters, I mean, you can't say enough about them either. Whenever we're able to put some runs on the board, it's a lot easier for pitchers to do their job. So with that run support and that um, uh, team will behind you, you're able to um, accomplish a lot more than you would uh, without without all those runs being scored. So it's pretty awesome. Now you know. It's pretty unreal, and I, I still don't think it's completely sink in yet. I think when we get back on the field starting tomorrow, it'll kind of sink in. Like there's not a lot of teams still practicing right now, but especially after that Wednesday night loss, it, it hits you hard and the quick turnaround Thursday morning. But I'm telling you, you're you, I mean you're exhausted playing those games, but there's nowhere else I'd rather be than with that team on that field. You did. It's it's awesome, and we feed off of each other. So like whenever we go out and we score two or three runs, and then Fowler or Shields or whoever they're going right back out there, and they're putting up a zero for us, so that the momentum stays on our side of the field. So that that's, that's huge for us when both sides can work together like that. Keep well. Yeah. And that's the good thing about our senior team is we know our roles, so we're not going to go try to do more than what we can do. And that's when you get in trouble. So our team, we very much know what we do, and we do it well. So we're going to play as a team, and we're not going to try to do too much. So I think just keep that same mindset and go into Oxford and play Ole Miss and just keep that same mindset of do what you do, don't try to do too much and play as a team. And uh, you told me I think it was a, a build every day. That, I mean, the next day we're, we're facing SIUE's Friday guy. He's really good. You get that win out of the way, you're like, all right, let's go get that doubleheader the next day. You, you finish those two and, all right, you got Simo and Tech the next day. It's going to be a tough challenge. Once we finish those two games and we had one more game against Tech, we were exhausted. But, I mean, I, I think the adrenaline and just the anticipation of the game was just – Unbelievable, and I think every day it kind of builds on the confidence level for us. Uh, I want to say the last 27 innings, 24 of them, they threw up a zero. And they've, they've showed spurts of it all season, but every game. I mean, Antley threw a complete game. Polk went into the eighth the next game. Graham hadn't started all year. He goes five solid for us. Shields goes four innings, and he was dealing on one day rest. And then Fowler comes back and throws seven and a third. I mean, it was unreal. And then, like I said, as an offense, when that's happening, the momentum stays with us, so it's a lot easier to play like that.